So obviously we have the we have two options, right? We have a, a Australian Wagyu and then we have the Japanese A5 Wagyu. Mm. Um, both are awesome. Mm. I think the magic is in the sauce though. Right. Yeah. And how the sauce complements the beef. Because yeah. obviously after, after you cook the beef, Mm. You know, between the bread and the beef, you add the tonkatsu sauce. And again, because and, and 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 the bread is 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 a, is, a, is a thinner milk bread. Yes. So the bread that we use is a thinner milk bread because I, I as I told you last time, I want the the meat, meat to, to shine. shine. And that's the product. Is, yes. as you're saying exactly. So 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 kind of all melts in your mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you and the thinner bread tends to be more crispier as well, right? Which yeah. I like. I like yeah. that crisp. You know, I yeah. like texture yeah yeah and in terms of the way that you prepare the meat is it kind of like a medium or like how would you do like if it so uh, like a, yeah we have specific timings i do i do the meat in a fried yeah. uh, technique mm. you get the grill technique as well yeah. but i feel like you get a different texture when you fry it medium rare for me is the is the ideal it's the spot on yeah amazing perfect every time yeah <laughs> let's try this yeah man Never got old. This, this is gonna be for. Uh, it's funny, like this gonna be forever. This thing is gonna. Uh, this is not just a craze. The sand, mm. though, is gonna be around. Oh yeah, and has been around yep. in Japan, right? Yeah. You know, I already, I already see already the the wisdom yeah. of the of the bread, the skinnier, um, the, the the skinnier toast. Yeah. Because it almost like the a sauce. A sauce, um, and also it, it just melts in your mouth. Correct. I mean, the bread is not there to kind of take you away. No, exactly. You know, exactly. This is just too good. So I take a crab consomme and I make, mix it together with the egg custard. Mm. Uh, then we have the king crab, the uni, the that's caviar, right. the It's a little bit flavor bomb. Yes, yeah. Again. Uh, like an umami bomb, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is, is, it all, is, is it all about impact with that dish? Is it all about... I think it's about impact, but it's also about the sultriness of the dish, right? That's right. Because it's also very delicate. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Right? The uni melts in your mouth. Mm. So yes, the flavor is bam, right? Yeah. But it's the sultriness of the dish afterwards. And also there's the, the, the silky, you know. And also the, the, the different textures. Yes. As well, because you have yes. the uni, which is kind of has its own texture. Yes. You have the crab, which is kind yes. of the meat. I'm going to try Look up. Here we go. I didn't do a good job here, but ah, I it's perfect, think, man. Don't I worry think about it. This is it. Yeah. Mm. It's you know, umami the, bomb, right? Oh yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. I remember in the in the report when they praised um, Ninety Nine Sushi, yeah. you know, for the Michelin star. Yeah. The thing that stood out was finesse mm. and balance. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, and and I think really it kind of encapsulates you know what they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so what I, what I like about this dish is, yes, you get that flavor explosion in the beginning with all the ingredients together, but it's also the sultry and the silkiness of the custard. It kind wow. of it kind of holds everything together. Yes. It has a bit of a taco feel, like the way yes. you eat it. It's almost like a piece of taco or like a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it has the tortilla base, which is flamed, right? It looks beautiful and it looks like a, a wonderful dish to share. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, you know, with yeah. people. Yeah, you know? I mean, that that sharing part is also one a big part of what we are about, right? Because right. uh, unless people ask for it, we tend to make our set menus, everything for two. Right. Right, because we want people to share it, to yeah. enjoy it together, you yeah. know? That's yeah. right. Let's grab one together. Yeah, okay, for sure. Yeah, here we go. go you take it. I mean, I like to fold it in yeah. half. Yeah. And then you just take a it's bite of it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. One bite. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. You're not messing around with this mm -hmm. one. I mean, friends would love this. Yeah. Like as a beginning, that, that's, that's a great conversation yeah. starter. Yeah. It's a great way to begin. And it's something that I recommend to all the guests to start with 100%. Yeah. An ideal starting point in your Michelin journey. In yeah. <laughs> Why we created that dish is we wanted to 
show people we mean business. This is created in Spain. This is available in all that, the things. So that one was created here in Abu Dhabi. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, right. no, so this is this is a statement piece. Yes. Caviar and sushi is almost like two different worlds. What kind of flavors are we? Did, did, did you hope the people to pick up? Kaluga Queen Caviar. Yeah. For me, it's got a bit more of a nuttiness. Right. The flavor stays a bit longer. Right. And it's beautiful, man. The caviar yeah. itself, yeah. the pearls are yeah. all it's singular. Visually, yeah. visually, it's amazing. Right. So what kind of gold are we talking about? Like, like a, so this is 24 karat edible gold. Does it have a flavor? Like no, like no, no, no. It does, it's not flavor, but we like to... Yeah. You'll see like little highlights throughout our menu. We have other dish called the golden bricks. Yes, right. Um, there's a touch of gold. You saw the touch of gold on top of our sando with the garnish. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. The caviar. We have kind of add the toro, fattiness of the toro. This tastes like luxury. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, I almost, I almost don't want it to stop as well, you know? Right? You just want to keep going. <laughs> and then you see your mortgage payments, <laughs> and then you stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, that's amazing. Mm. Mm.